greetings and welcome to this brand new video i hope you are all doing well in this video i will show you how you can easily downgrade from ios 18 to ios 17 on all your compatible devices the method shown in this video is completely free and we will be using 3u tools which is a completely free software and you can see it right here that i have this ipad 7 which is on ios 18 right now first of all get 3u tools so simply head to its official website as you can see it right here and it is both available for windows and mac os you can get it from here and to make it run you need itunes so you can simply install itunes from the apple's official website you can see it is available for windows once these two are installed please open 3u tools and connect your ios device via usb and then hit smart flash and you will see all the signed versions for ios 17 so you can simply directly download the IPSW using this download button or you can use this import button to simply import an existing IPSW for iOS 17's latest signed version. Now to get the IPSW, you can visit IPSW.me. It is completely free and from here you can simply select your device. So I am using an iPad. I will select that and from here simply choose your device. So I am using iPad 7 I will select that from here once in you will find the latest signed version for iOS 17 you will see this green tick here simply open it and if you are confused about your device and its IPSW you can simply hit device information here and note the identifier so you can see iPad 7 comma 11 and you can see it right here we have iPad 7 comma 11 so it is the right IPSW for this model now simply hit it and then hit download to get the IPSW to your computer. Now, while in Smart Flash, simply import the IPSW you just got and it will start verifying it. And you can see imported here. Now, simply hit quick flash mode here, then hit flash. Also, make sure that you have backed up all your data and then hit flash and wait for the process to finish all right as you can see the restore is complete now you can see the version here it is on ios 17 now and it is properly activated that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will see you in another video goodbye and take care